And we're recording. Good morning, Predictive Trades family. It is Friday, March 25th. Looking to end this week strong after having a very fun and very good last couple of weeks on this drive rally up. Thank you, Richie. Rally the troops. So, one thing that should be pointed out or noted a lot of these daily squeezes are starting to fire to the upside. We've got ES has already fired and Q as well. The ruddy almost YM starting to fire Apple, Google, Microsoft. You know, most of them. NVIDIA, even if it's um, blank here, it may have just fired already. Or it may have fired yesterday, that kind of thing. So, as we have seen time and time again, there can be instances where a squeeze starts to fire and then immediately reverses back down to the middle, which is usually where the daily mean is, or usually where the mean is, depending on what time frame squeeze you're looking at. It's also worth noting that a lot of names, including the indices, um, are approaching the second Keltner. And certain names, like Apple, are already at the, silk, the second Keltner, and a good little push gets them at the third Keltner. If you're not familiar with the Keltners, the daily Keltner levels, usually we don't go too far outside of the third Keltner band. <clears throat> Let's go back to ES real quick. And just go look at the daily. <clears throat> just to show, even on a strong rally uh, bull market, when we hit that third Keltner, we kind of start to retrace to get back to the mean. Where we can bounce, get up to second and third Keltner, and then back to the mean. Same is true to the downside. <clears throat> and our sell-off. We dramatically hit, went a little past third Keltner, and then pushed off of it, back to the mean, rejected, third Keltner, right here, Keltners being these wavy lines, right? Third Keltner, back to the mean, second Keltner, back to the mean, yada yada. Point being, right now on ES... Our next Keltner up, the second Keltner, since we're halfway in between the two, is back up at this key zone. It's what held us up towards the end of the year. It's the last thing that we really bounced at before this um, sell-off kind of started. And it's what we rejected and rejected and rejected. This very key level at 4590 with the stone around it. And as we start to see where we are pulling up to, the second Keltner now overlaps that level. So can we continue higher? Absolutely, we're firing daily squeeze. We can continue higher. We can hit this first Keltner. We can blast through this zone. We can get up to third Keltner. All possible. But we have rejected the zone repeatedly. It is where sellers are sitting and waiting. Waiting for price to get back, right? We have to see what's going to happen when we get to the zone. And yeah, it, look at all this spaghetti. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have a clear drawing set anymore. But long story short, We've had a very good drive. We're back above most of the daily moving averages. In fact, we're back above the 200 now. We're peeking out of the daily Ichimoku. So, what resistance do we have ahead, up above? Daily Keltner, last key zone that we rejected. And the sell-off, repeatedly. So, definitely watch for that. If we can get through, we will be at third Keltner up at 46.70. That tends to le uh, lead to that we are a little overbought. And we could need to take a break and maybe even retrace it to the mean. The daily 21 and the daily 50 are about to intersect and overlap. That can cause a magnet. 
Pac is below at 44.65. Not terribly far below, but it is back outside of this daily Ichimoku cloud. So let's see if we can keep trucking if we reject up here or if we reject at some point before if we start to fall below that 45.10 that we are now above we might start slipping back into the daily cloud and out of it we'd have to get back out of it to get to Pac and then just a little further to get down to the daily 50 the purple line and the daily 21 the white line which are about to overlap so let's move in smaller time frame and just cover that one last time looking at the day you know um, we have been a little range bound right on the indices this week we could kind of stay range bound we can also fire this up to the upside and we have um, enough gas in the tank since we closed around 45.16 yesterday, um, we can get up to like 4,600 if we want with a, uh, or, you know, we can pretty much get up to this zone with our uh, daily ATR. <clears throat> so, if ES can continue up, get above this 45.40, it'll fire this 30 minute squeeze, a little sliver of a one hour squeeze to the upside and um, we can start the journey up to 4550, 4580, and 90, our key zone. If we reject on this gap up and start to retrace to fill the gap, we also have targets to the downside 4510, the bottom of this 30 minute squeeze which is already kind of starting to open up and um, 30 minute Ichimoku down below at 44.89, which was some of the resistance we got through yesterday and pushed off of. Should that give out in the 30 minute Ichimoku, we do have all of our daily moving averages below. I'd say the 21 is a little outside of our um, ATR for today. And we have the eight and the fifth, the eight and the 200 right around this 4450, 4470. So <clears throat> let's see if we can just keep trucking. If we start to get rejection and head back, targets are 30 minute Ichimoku, 4489, and this liquidity pocket down below. All right, let's move on. NQ. Similar story. Starting to get up near the second Keltner up above. And the second Keltner and the daily 200 create a nice target zone above if we can continue this um, trend that we're in. Up at 15,000, 15,100. If we do not continue trend and we start to reject and head back, downside targets are 30 minute Ichimoku. This trend line from the lows which overlaps this uh, 14,585, the first Keltner, uh, the first Keltner up since we're so far above the mean. And if those give out 30 minute Ichimoku and that first Keltner, we have the daily eight and the daily 50 sitting right below. So just like every prep, I'm gonna try to give you a thesis and uh, levels to the upside and downside to play. If, uh, if NQ can actually get through the second Keltner and the 200, we do have a couple of key levels right up near the third Keltner. So those will be further out targets. Maybe a little out of reach today. Let's see, we close around 14,800. It's a little out of reach on a normal ATR. Moving on. The Ready still has some room to go to um, fire its daily squeeze. 
and some resistance, right? Um, as we've seen on these larger time frame squeezes, we can tap them and go, but we can also just grind through them slowly. So let's see if the ready can get through this four hour squeeze top right around 2090, get through psychological 2100 to get up to 2120 and start testing this daily cloud top. Uh, but we are already at second, I'm sorry, first Keltner. Second Keltner is just outside of that squeeze. Third Keltner, right up there with the daily 200. I love it when things overlap like this because it creates clear targets. If, and clear targets and thesis, if we can get through the four hour on ready, we can go up and visit this one hour top and the second Keltner, should we press past that? Most likely not today, but maybe next week. The next target is the daily 200 and the third Keltner up. Should we reject, start to head back? Um, the ready is not too far from the daily mean, and we might see our first index give us signs for a reversion to the mean. Um, but overall, the ready has kind of gotten above the means and then sitting right at them. So let's see if it can fire this four hour, which has held us all week pretty much. Get out of this range to the upside or downside would be a great gauge for the rest of the indices since the small caps have been oscillating a little sooner. YM kind of up and hugging the first Keltner up all week. Did have that dip to um, the daily 50 and 8 for a nice bounce. And about to test the 200, right at the top of where the squeeze used to be in the psychological 35,000. So let's see if we can push off of the first Keltner up to get to the 200 and this key level. Um, if we reject these squeeze tops and head down, obvious first target is the 30 minute, itchy, it, 30 minute Ichimoku, and then this pocket of the daily 50 and the daily 8 down below. Uh, let's see, 600 ATR. Yeah, well, there's actually enough in the tank for YM to get back to the mean if it wanted to from this point. So, obviously, since we're at the first Keltner. So, something to keep in mind. Well, let's keep an eye on this um, 30 minute and one hour squeeze on YM. We are sitting near the top at open. We need to see it blast through the top and push off of it for a nice upside today. If we reject, head down, need to see buyers step in at the bottom of the squeeze in this 30 minute Ichimoku. If they don't, we could accelerate fast to the downside. Apple, start tearing through these individual names. Apple, man, just every day, Pushing, pushing, pushing. I think there was one day that you could maybe call sideways, but it pops, drops, and still closes higher. Higher, higher, and higher. Sometimes we just need to um, use Apple as a gauge and a sentiment to, to understand that tech is strong. And all of the beasts on Apple that I've shared Last week and this week, early in the week, all of the calls were in play. And now that the week has progressed, you know, the 160, let's see, we're, Monday's here, we open around 164. Basically, I believe the 165s, the 167.5s, the 170s, the 172.5s, all of those tap beast and have just kept trucking higher for some amazing returns. And now here we are at 174. So, Apple's about to open around the second Keltner up. It only needs about four points, an ATR, to get up to the third Keltner. So let's see if Apple is going to show us that tech is strong and wants to get to the third Keltner, or if Apple starts to lose it. Um, pre-market hot and head back if it loses these key levels 172 171 which overlap with the 30 minute Ichimoku 
we could be um, headed back down, right? First Keltner at around 169. You know, basically Apple being at second Keltner, it's a two-day journey back to the mean. Maybe I'll, uh, if it went a full ATR and a half, we could get back to the daily 8 and 50. So, watch Apple, see if it wants to continue, has to get through pre-market hot and keep trucking. If it rejects and heads back, that means tech is most likely going to slip with it. But want to see it stay above this 30 minute Ichimoku for this rally to continue. MD. Super strong day yesterday, along with NVIDIA. I'd almost say AMD waited for NVIDIA to go first, since it dipped for the whole first hour, then finally took off, while NVIDIA just pretty much took off out the gate. But either way, um, AMD basically tapped the mean yesterday, made it up to the first Keltner, and trying to push for more. So let's keep an eye on this 30 minute squeeze. If we can get through it, it's getting very thin right before open, which is nice. So if we can push through it and pre-market hot, we could uh, get up to the next key level of 122 and a half. Close at 120 with a six ATR. So we can actually get up to the second Keltner and the top of where this daily squeeze, whoa, well, actually is. It says it hasn't fired quite yet, but that the four hour has fired. So let's see if uh, AMD can continue. This 122.5 has been a point of rejection in the past, so keep an eye there. If we can get to and through it, 125, 126 looks about the targets and extent of our range. We can't get through pre market HUD, and we go to the bottom of this 30 minute squeeze at around 119. Should that give out? 30 minute Ichimoku, key level 114 back down with an ATR to get there. Amazon. Amazon's been trucking high, has already been above second Keltner this week, fell back to first Keltner and where the daily eight is. Almost tested those before trekking higher. Looks like we are set to open above this 30 minute Ichimoku which has a nice flat top here at 32.65. So, for the upside, want to see Amazon hold 32.65 if it might need to dip first before it keeps going. We do have the daily 200 up above at this week's high as a target to the upside, along with some of these squeezes, since it looks like we're kind of in squeezes on the one hour, two hour, and four hour, although they look kind of thin and newly formed, so. If we can get up through this week's high in the daily 200, we have the third counter up above at 3,400. If we reject the daily 200, like we did at this week's high, downside target back to that 30 minute Ichimoku, down to the squeeze bottoms around 3,225, this trend line right around 3,200. And if that should give out, then we have all the rest of the daily liquidity levels down below for targets. Uh, let's see if I can get through these names a little quicker. Cat. Tons of squeezes in place. Doesn't look like it's going to help YM a ton right now. There's this wedge going on if you connect the highs and lows from this recent uh, breakout. So let's see if that wedge holds through today. If it starts to give out, it could pull YM. CRM, kind of the same, uh, not as many squeezes, but kind of the same wedge going on at the 30 minute Ichimoku. So wouldn't be a bad spot for it to take off if it can get through 215. It could start to uh, have a nice rally back to this key 218 and a half in the squeeze tops if reject going down to the daily means. Facebook. 
been pretty darn strong. I'd say Facebook is definitely back in play, especially since we've been giving it a break after it went down on earnings. <clears throat> but it is finally moving with the market and uh, looking strong, and many dips keep getting bought and bought. So, um, let's see. If we zoom in, we're at the top of these squeezes that are starting to fire. If we can get through pre-market hot, um, we can keep trucking. We're only at the first Keltner right now. Next Keltner is up above at 228. With about a 10 point ATR, that is kind of possible. So. Let's see if we can get through pre-market HOD, get through 223, 226 to get to 228. If we reject pre-market HOD and head back down, 30 minute Ichimoku, and back down at this, I guess this week's lows are a little lower, but well, right about 210, which would also align with the daily eight. Google, nice strong day yesterday. I know a bunch of us hit the 2850s, Oh, what's interesting is, I think uh, some of us got in for uh, maybe like a buck fifty, took them up to um, five or six, and even though it went sideways, those 2850s, since they were further out and were getting closer to expiration, they came all the way back to like two or three bucks and then took off again to like seven or eight because we went higher. Now, we're about to open at 2850. So it's always worth leaving a runner sometimes when you get good drive, not much pullback, and another leg. But either way, Google about to open at second Keltner. Really only has so much further it can go. To the third Keltner. If it wants to remain strong. But let's see if there's a profit taking at open. If we reject, uh, reject this second Keltner to start to head back to the first Keltner, which overlaps with this 30 minute Ichimoku back at 2750. Uh, let's see. I'm going to skip GS and JP. I don't know. They have been weak this week and kind of working against the market, NYM. Microsoft, nice and strong. Ooh, already up at 306. She needs to be up at 315 for watch. Where is it? 315. Yeah, there we go. It's not outside the Keltner, so. Mission 315 today for our brother watch. <laughs> but ultimately, let's watch the squeeze. If we can get above it in this 307 level. We can try to truck our way up to 310, 311, 315. Yeah, yeah. 8 point ATR, closing around 4. We can really only get to about 12. That's second ATR, or, or second Keltner. If we reject and start to head back down, 30 minute Ichimoku back at 300. And. Oh, let's see, 8 points be about 96, which would get us back down to the bottom of the squeeze. So, watch the squeeze, going to be key today. Netflix, kind of weaker yesterday on than other names, like, you know, NVIDIA and Google and whatnot. It dropped, popped, and went almost all the way back and closed off with, near its first pop. So, not as strong. But gapping through Ichimoku, so let's see if it can get through these squeezes. If it rejects those, and we oh, excuse me, mm. fall through Ichimoku, we got the bottom of the squeeze back at 370. 16.8 TR closer and 75, so it could get actually back to the daily 15. So downside targets there, upside targets here. Vidi. 
strong, strong, strong day yesterday. The 270s, 75s, 80s, 85s all got bought and lit up and great returns. Mm. We have a pretty big pre-market high and low range here. If you see, 277 to 283. That range could hold us most of the day, all day, really. You know, we don't have to break out of that range. So definitely some key levels to watch. Tight 30-minute uh, squeeze. So let's see how that uh, unfolds. We could reject the top to go retest the bottom before we head higher. 30-minute Ichimoku way down below, and... Park 264, <clears throat> which is back kind of where the 30 minute Ichimoku was yesterday. And I'm sure because a lot of volume stepped in as we broke above that. So, park back down below. Let's see if we can hold up these squeeze bottoms as pre market low. If not, let's see if we can hold up this 30 minute Ichimoku with a head higher. But it's had such a strong drive, wouldn't be surprised if we need a break or even a RTM back to 250 because the mean has finally caught up near 250. Um, Qs. Not very many squeezes intact. Um... And I'm going to open right near the first Keltner up. Let's see if we can keep on trucking to the daily 200. We close at 3.59 with a 10.8 TR. So we could get to the daily 200 today. But that would be very close to the third Keltner and kind of near like two and a half. So let's see. Ah. Uh, let's see how this squeeze goes. The top is around 361, bottom around 357. So let's see if we get some profit taking gap fill and hold maybe pre market low or as low as 357 before we head higher, or if we just gap and go. And a mission to get up to 363, which is the next Keltner up. 365. Uh, 368 with the 200. All right, Roku. Compared to Netflix, a much better bounce yesterday and basically got back to where it opened. Um, so it was a great trade if you got it off the daily eight near bottom. It did get through the 21 to the eight, now back above the 21. So if we can't get through the squeeze top, this week's high around 130 to get up to 134, the next Keltner. We'll be headed through 30 minute, uh, 30 minute itchy at 125 to the squeeze bottoms and yesterday's low around 121. Shop, shop, shop. You know, when these candles happen, a lot of times you get a ton of uh, retail thinking, it's time to go long, time to go long, time to go long. Now, there were some great longs on shop this week after some profit taking. Darn near every day. <laughs> and yesterday, a drop and a pop right back to where we opened and then just straight sideways. So for me, not a ton of interest on shop going in to Friday. I think I'm gonna let this one be. The daily 21 is down below. I mean, if anything, you know, you got this uh, four hour squeeze <clears throat> top and bottom. I would basically be looking at strikes since we're gonna open kinda near the middle. I'd be looking at 740, 750, no further. I'd be looking at, you know, 660, 650, no further than that. Look around those strikes, which are still pretty wide, but not loving shop today. And I'm gonna move on. SPX, 
Tested at 30 minute Ichimoku, got a bounce. Now it's nice and flat today. We're gonna have a little bit of gap up. Oh, probably around 45.50. So let's see if we gap and go. Ah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be opening most likely above this week's high. So let's see if we can gap and go or if there's a retracement to fill the gap. But want to see it stay above 45.20 and at the very least 4,500 where the 30 minute Ichimoku is to head higher with a mission 4,600. If we give out 4,500 and this 4,475 30 minute Ichimoku, we could be changing trend and heading back down to the daily means. Spy going to be very similar. Uh, getting closer to the second Keltner up. Yeah, basically, what do we have in play today? The 452s, 454s, 456. To the downside, the 450s, 448, 446. If we get below the 30 minute Ichimoku, the daily eight is down at 442, which would be a 10 point drop on SPY. A little over an ATR, so don't really think we'll get, um, oh, but the 200 is at 446. Ah, so there's a great target. To the downside within um, ATR range. So if we do go down today, I kind of expect uh, SPY to stay above the 200 at least. Tesla, and then we'll get VIX and we'll wrap this up. Tesla, strong, strong, strong. But guess what? It tapped at the highs this week. Third Keltner up. So one of the strongest names has already arrived at third Keltner and gotten a stiff rejection right back down to the second Keltner. And then yesterday, we just kind of sat in between. We did hit some great trades. Um, I don't think anyone shorted, but we did hit some nice longs on it. But then it just flatlined and went sideways. It is gapping up slightly and opening kind of near some of these lower wicks from yesterday. And the squeezes have gotten so very tight after that sideways action. So let the squeezes be the guide today on Tesla. <clears throat> Personally swung some of the 1050s. Would love to see a pop on it at least up to 1030 in near these squeeze tops. I will lock that up and potentially start looking at some shorts. Because again, we're at third Keltner. And it might be time for Tesla to take a break. <clears throat> to the upside, I um, want to get to 1030. This week's high at 1040. The third Keltner. Well, you know, it's probably going to be right at 1050 or 1055. So let's see if we can get up there. But I kind of expect a rejection from there and to start making a journey back down. Last but not least, VIX. So just as, we, just as we have seen all of the indices and names that are approaching their third Keltner up and the top of the daily squeezes that are firing up, VIX has been approaching its daily squeeze bottom. Its daily squeeze is starting to fire down. And look, the 200 is right near 20, which is a big key level on VIX and within range today. So let's see. For us to be able to continue higher, VIX needs to give out 2150, 21, the daily 200, and down to 20 and lower. If we bounce at the daily 200 or 20 and start to head back up, that could mean that we're taking a break from kind of being overbought. So some key levels on VIX today, definitely watch 20. This 2068, uh, which is where the daily 200 is, which is where the third Keltner is also overlapping. 
So definitely keep an eye right here, because we could start seeing a bounce in VIX and returning back to where the daily mean is, back a little above 25, which would mean the market is going to take a break and come back. Hopefully this was helpful for everybody. That kind of covers all of our names. Um, we'll see you in the chat room. Good luck today.